Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Will. So, welcome back. If you aren't aware, I do a lot of Under Night and Birth remixes and also piano tutorials. And today I'm going to be covering, I'm going to be breaking down Hyde's theme on piano. My main approach is to just learn every section piece by piece and eventually put it all together and then you learn how to play the whole song. It's a lot easier when you break things down uh, in order to make really big things. And if you're just consistent at it, day by day, you get a little bit better. You'll be able to play the whole song in no time. So without further ado, here is my, um, my interpretation of Hyde's theme. So the first thing is that we got to talk about what key it's in. So even though you don't, um, maybe not everyone's interested in music theory, uh, I won't get too far into, in, into theory, um, but I do think that even if you're not aware, um, just knowing where like you venture off to know where everything's like oriented around. In this case, uh, I would say it's it, it's B minor, which is also uh, D major. I should have did it with one hand. So as far as B minor. And it also does go into D minor uh, in the second section, um, AKA F major. Yeah, like this flat. Uh, this B flat. So um, just I just figure I get that out the way so that if you're having trouble traversing the keyboard, you could um, look up a video or just do it yourself um, and and like learn how to do scales because at the end of the song um, there's it's all just using mostly just like. It's just going up and down the B minor scale, right? So um, just getting familiar with that could will make it so that you can learn how to play the song a lot faster. But if you want to go directly into the song and learn piece by piece, that's okay too. And I'll, um, I'll just show you what each piece is. So the beginning of the song, your chord progression is going to go from G to A to B to G sharp. That's just the core of what you're going to be doing throughout the majority of the song. There are, there are going to be some variations and some stuff here and there, but just knowing that you're going to be around there, that you're always that you're going to be constantly approaching B um, starting at G. Uh, I personally like playing octaves. But um, if your hands aren't as big or if that's not comfortable, it's not mandatory. Again, this is just my interpretation of it. So I'm here to give you the building blocks and you're, you can change it however you like. Um, so also you can do like... I may as well just get into the first section. So again, the chord progression is like G, A, B minor, G sharp diminished, if you want the full chords, but you can just play the root. And in the right hand, there's this, it's this one riff, but I like to break it up into two riffs. The first half being centered around C sharp, again. And then this one's centered around F sharp. So that's basically the first part of the intro. So that's one section. So um, I recommend starting there and getting really comfortable doing that. That's a very easy thing that I, I believe that most people playing piano for the first time um, should be able to grasp. If not, that's okay too. I'm not trying to go like, you should be able to play this. <laughs> I didn't want that to sound like that. But um, um, as far as the, so getting solid at that is like the first step. And then there's the second riff that's um, the more like uh, energetic one. And that starts at D. So 
so that's pretty uh, simple. So it's like, and and then you try it again, or then you do it again. But then you go to E, so you end high, and then again. So I also like playing this octaves like. That's a bit intense, <laughs> like for me, it's like a bit intense. Um, um, I also like playing it where I uh, add the A every time, like, oops, <laughs> here we go. So just adding that, like every time I hit a chord, I'm like hitting this A also with my thumb. But again, you could just uh, do it raw too. Just so that's basically the intro, and the way you finish this intro off, I like to end it with like the um, F sharp um, minor in my right hand. It, it makes this B minor nine because uh, you have the B back uh, down here. Um, so let me put it together. So I'm just going up a, a half step with everything. Everything's just going up a half step when I do that, uh, which is also how you do the the line. That's also how that song is constructed. They were both written in the same key, uh, by the way. So learning, that's why I'm saying like learning how to play in B minor or just getting familiar with it, it's going to make learning a lot of stuff. There's about like seven songs in the soundtrack that uses B minor, by the way. But <laughs> but um, um, I'm also going to be making a Linne tutorial too. So um, smash the sky for that, you know. So um, as far so that's the second half of the intro. So I again I break up the intro into like the and the. So just learning how to play those two will get you to the beginning of the song. So as far as that section, um, as far as as far as the beginning of the song, you're going to be um, it's like. So again, your your bass is going to be it's going to start at B, but then it's going to approach B from G. Um, like that every time and again you can use chords like more full chords like so it's like major major minor um, as far as that goes and one thing about this song that you're going to see all over the place so you may as well get good at doing this is there's going to be um, um, so going from F to G, I mean, excuse me, F sharp to B in like plain lines. Or it builds off of that little, um, it, it just builds off of that idea throughout the entire song. So, um, just spending a little bit of time just getting used to doing that and getting the muscle memory would be very very useful but okay let me get to the um first verse of the song let me play it slower goes into the next section but basically as far so the the left hand i already explained so the right hand again it's like always building off of 
and then you're always linking back into F sharp. You usually you're going from B to F sharp, and this is a perfect fifth, by the way. Um, so that's how I remember it. Always has that. And you like dip down from F sharp. And then now you're uh, dipping back towards F sharp. So I'm always, we're always just using the scale. And the second time you want to uh, approach D. But you like, you know, you kind of like, like, go there first, like E, F sharp, and then D. That's like a little rhythm that I just added. Again, you could do whatever you feel. Um, that's just me using my intuition there. So that's just whatever. I personally just like going like um, B, A, B, <laughs> like that. Okay, so get that section down. And then we could talk about the pre-course. So the next section, um, I do, this is when that key change happens. So now we have So I see it as if we're in the key of D minor and we're going like E A D and then E A major D um Again, you can also think of it as in terms of F minor, uh, excuse me, as, as far as F major, but this section, you transition into it from that little riff that I was talking about. The So you, you're you going up and then you're going down to, to E. Uh, excuse me, you're going up and then you're going down to G, getting my, key, <laughs> my keys confused. <laughs> but um, so. Notice how we're using F natural now, and we're also using B flat now, and we're also using C natural a lot too. C sharp, and then B flat. Let me break that section down. So, um, so the chords go from G minor to C, B, A minor to D major. So instead of um, it's going, it's going to do a little bit more work. Um, And then to clean it up, to finish it off, the last section is all of a sudden we're back in B minor, original key. So that's a pretty clever um, trick that um, Rato uses. Um, we. So I like this. Uh, you don't have to do that. So let me like strip it down. Then we're back in B. And then uh, again, that's just a pre-chorus that since it's a key change, it might be a bit strange, like playing new keys all of a sudden, because you get comfortable with one key, uh, and then now you instead of having F sharp, you have like F um, natural, and instead of B, you have B flat, instead of you know, just the key change uh, stuff. But um, getting used to it, um, I I just like to take those sections. Um, and separate them and then like learn how to combine them all together. So for the next section, the course, 
Um, this is really going to test your uh, scales. Not not to the point that you're going like, not nothing like that. It's, it's like a little bit, but that muscle memory is going to be there. So even though it doesn't use like the full scale, like learning how to like do that is going to be very useful. Um, Cause I do personally, I do, I do curve um, into my um, uh, pointer finger a lot. Oops. See? So um, it's going to be using every single finger in this section. So if that's a bit um, awkward to do, an exercise you could do is to go to D and playing these notes. Maybe not that fast initially, like just like play it slow. And then um, you're going to have like a target note every time. The same one. And as far as the left hand, all the left hand is going to be doing is exactly the same thing it was doing in the intro. So it's just going from G all the A, uh, G, A, B to G sharp. It's just going to be doing that same thing that's been doing in the very, uh, like in the intro of the song, it's going to be doing the same thing. So, um, and the rhythm that I do is just me feeling it. I'm not like, this isn't like a strict rhythm. So don't, um, don't feel the need to copy it per se. Don't even feel the need to do like octaves. Again, you can do like the chords or you can just do the one note. Let me go slower. I was a bit sloppy with that, um, but one thing about the melody is it's always going to start off the same, but every single time you do it, there's a slight difference in the ending. So the first time it's... Um, So this one you have, you're reaching um, F sharp. And then the second one is, instead of going to F sharp, you're going. And then the last one is. From uh, A down to F sharp. So this is a very like easy poppy type song because like again those um, chords are always going to be the same so most of your the effort is going to be just doing this and then hopefully doing the laugh 10 is just autopilot so okay so hopefully you've gotten to that point or maybe i don't know hopefully you've gotten like through all the sections and like I said, you don't need to get every section 100%. I typically just get to around 60% uh, percent execution, and then I move on, and then I just go back. I kind of work in circles. I just go from one section, one section, one section. I'm okay at it, and then I go back, and then I try to get better, and then I go back, and I just try to like perfect it eventually. Okay, so that's the whole song, but there's also the little solo at the end of the song and i'm going to show what that is here so um it starts off the same way that i've been you know that little melody that i mentioned the 
um, going from the F sharp, you know, that little thing, you're going to be doing that. And then the chord progression is going to be the same that's been throughout the majority of the song, 90% of the song, right? So um, it goes like this. So that is Skyscraper High. Um, I have sheet music in the description of the video. Um, for anyone who supports me on Patreon, I share all my sheet music. So I have an archive of everything that I've made so far. So next time, I'm going to be showing you how to play... Um I'll be doing Linnae's theme next and breaking that one down. That one's a pretty hard song in all honesty. And I got to brush up my execution on that one. Yeah, I had a bunch of mistakes on that. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, please ask me in the comment section. Or if you have any, if you want me to get back to you uh, more frequently, ask me any questions on Discord. Uh, you can ask me in the server. You can ask me and a direct message that's in the description as well so as always thanks and i have a lot more cool uh covers coming for you all right take care <laughs>